Booms at Camp Williams and rockets bursting into the air above the Bonneville Salt Flats today. It was part of a big competition for NASA. Students designed their very own rockets and then watched as they soared thousands of feet in the air. Two News photographer Mike Fessler was there for blast off. One, start. You hear people say all the time, like, oh, this isn't rocket science. Well, this very literally is. We are the Mississippi State University Space Cowboys. With the University of Florida rocket team. River City Rock Tree. Go Penguins. Cobra, that's Colorado Boulder Rock Tree Association. We have our carbon fiber rocket. Um, it's about a 12 and a half foot tall rocket. Slow, slow, slow. You can kind of describe it as controlled chaos. How off is it? Uh, there. You have people setting up all the payloads, people setting up the recovery, people building the motors. You got that off. Good. There's a lot to do in a relatively short amount of time. There we go. They have the very same challenges that we have when we launch a rocket that weighs four and a half million. Right before that rocket launch, it's terrifying. Your heart's pounding. With these knots in your stomach, you're completely out of control. <laughs> you're watching it go up, you're watching it go up, and you're saying, please make sure everything works. Spinning or something. Booster's under drone. It's over in a heartbeat. It's, a, it's amazing how fast it goes. Flight first. There's nothing much you can do, just wait for them to push the button. Three, two, two one, one, start. Looks good. Vent. Nice. No main. Oh, there. there it is. There. Yes! <laughs> when it finally deploys, there's, there's no other feeling. It's just like a, it is an amazing feeling. So beautiful in the air. I want to know what our final altitude was on that. It's all that work you put into it to see it actually come to fruition the way it's supposed to. It's, oh, that's awesome. It's relieving and exhilarating at the same time. Wow, that's <laughs> impressive. Really Once the competition is over, teams will share their research with NASA. Some of it could be used in future design and development of government rockets. Mike with some nice pictures. Yeah, nice job, Mike.